What's up guys, TechDog here. Today I have a very special package. I haven't, oh, well, I have opened it, but I haven't taken a look what's inside yet. It's a brand new Polaroid Go camera, which is the smallest instant camera. And today we will unbox it. So I will show you my first impressions compared to a normal camera and see how it, how it looks like in real life. I'm really excited. I already pre-ordered this and it arrived very quickly, the official drop, the, of the official launch is only yesterday and it's already here on Wednesday morning. Oh wow, <laughs> the package is quite small, it's really small. So what do we have here? Some shipping information which I will not show. Uh, you have a postcard like everything when you order from their site you'll get a nice little Cards are starting like an original, exactly, that's my philosophy with Polaroids. Exactly, then here we have the new Polaroid Go. See, analog instant, selfie ready, double exposure. Alright, so we here have the box of the Go camera. I will go ahead and open it up. Alright, let's get this open. And here we have it. Oh my gosh. It's really... Can I make it a little bit brighter? Yeah. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I, I got a... I get my Polaroid one step just so you can see how how tiny it is. All right, here we have this Polaroid Go. Seems okay. Let me take the one step, which is simply humongous in comparison. Like, <laughs> it feels so weird seeing that it's really so so small. So weird. <laughs> Right, let's get it out of the plastic. All right, here we have it. A nice little little toy. <laughs> it really seems like a little. Which one? Focus. Really seems like a little little toy. Let's see, right here, ooh, this one is very interesting, it's a little bit different inside to normal Polaroid cameras, but I guess it has to be because of the size, yeah it has to be. Now we also have a little protective film over the shutter button, let's take it off. Alright, this didn't take two years. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else in the packaging. We have a, ooh, it's like a hand strap, I guess. Yeah, it's small, so you can like put it on your wrist, and then just put it here, so it doesn't fall down. Nice. We have a charging cable, USB-B. Okay, at this age it could have been a USB-C, but Okay, not so uncommon for for appliances like this, let's say so. Alright, let's put it aside. And in the box we have... what else do we have here? Ooh, these are... we get some stickers, I think. Ooh, yeah, these are like stickers. Very cool, very nice. I really like this one. <laughs> very nice, they have... Yeah, like a little tutorial, how to use the camera and everything. Legal information. And that's it in this box. Alright. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the film for it. It says since and, uh, 16 photos and it comes as a double pack, I guess. So, and also, so you can see this is the packaging of a normal Polaroid film pack. This is the small one. It's 
Oh, it seems so insane. Because <laughs> it's so, so small, so tiny. How do we get it open the best? I guess... Yeah, I guess like that. Yeah, exactly. It's a double film pack. Color go film. Man, <laughs> it's really so tiny. Let's open it up. So, so, so. What do we have here? Free stickers inside the display of every Polaroid Go moments. Nice! Uh, I guess it's like to put on a valve or something. Yeah, do not remove this dark slide. The dark slide for the normal camp for normal film packs. It's always like a fun, funny little message or a cute little message. Here, simply do not remove. But I guess that will that could change in the future. Let's let's open it. <laughs> not let's open it, but let's start it. All right. First, we have to turn it on. The on button is here. All right, it shows a zero, because there's currently no film inside, that makes sense. Screen, I guess it means, because okay, battery. All right, you have to turn it on and then open it up. All right. Oh, and I have like a little sticker here, a sticker here, so that you insert it correctly. Well, I guess this side first. All right, we have it in. Let's close it. Yeah, it, it ejected the dark slide as normal. And we have eight pictures here, like a normal Polaroid film pack. All right, let's take off the dark slide. And the nifty little camera is ready to go. All right, I guess I'll take a test photo of my other camera. Oh, of my S670, exactly. And then we'll come I will just grab my SX70, take a photo of it, and then we'll see how, how good it looks, how tiny the photos are. Alright, the manual said to keep it here for 5 seconds, which you should always do a little bit. I didn't put it in a dark place until it for like 10 minutes. But let's, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they are so tiny. So tiny. Okay, I'll put it in cupboard in a dark place, and I'll report back when it's uh, ready. A few minutes later. Okay, so some 15 minutes have passed, and the picture is ready. It seems it's always quite okay on its own. Uh, it came out a little bit dark, but that was my fault because the main source of light was behind the object I was photographing. So it's always an important lesson. Polaroid cameras need a lot of light, but. Uh, it's always a little bit difficult to capture it on, with, a, with a phone camera, how it looks in real life. Looks uh, about so, I must say, for size, pretty, a lot of stuff. So hard to say because it's only a table and uh, a camera of this size. But I am pleased with the results. And the size, and I hold it so, it looks quite okay, but just to compare, it's like a normal Polaroid picture. You can see it's like a, a little bit more than a quarter of it. It's simply insane just how big the size difference is. I think it's so crazy. I think it's a very nice new product. And uh, it's something for people who don't want such big photos. <laughs> and I also talk just for size comparison. comparison here I have a Spectra, they don't make this kind of film anymore, but it's also the third Polaroid film size. It's not manufactured anymore, but I just simply wanted to show it. But I also, the first thing I thought from behind, uh, normal Polaroid uh, photos look like this from behind. Come on, let me flip it. So it has also the wide frame from behind, and this doesn't have it, it just goes straight through. Just like the Spectrum, I guess they do it a little bit differently for non-standard photos. But that's it. Let's put it like this. I uh, thank you very much for watching. I will use it quite often the next few days and <laughs> the following week, and soon I will post a follow-up video, how it is in real life, how it is used and uh, subscribe to stay tuned for more Polaroid videos.